advantage if you're a brand and you buy against a specific piece of content or a specific show, you get a slot or you get you buy a, a, a space in every advertising slot, um, and you know the first spot plays and it says, you know, should Jimmy kiss Susie or Betty? And that uh, sounds there, sweeter than the horror. <laughs> um, and from there, you know, you can actually then direct um, the next piece of content that that is played. And I think it just again allows brands to really build a narrative, as opposed to having a single 30-second spot. It allows people to feel like they're truly interacting with a brand, that they have some kind of control over what they view next. And if you are using something like SMS or people have submitted their phone number, you can also grow um, your mobile database, this could be done online as well. There's a ton of different ways this can start to play out, um, but again, it's, it's all about interaction and giving people an experience that they've never had before. Yeah, and the fact that you can, that you can then play out your, uh, uh, play out your, uh, choose your own adventure through that show or through the entire season, you know, it, it is, it's pretty wild. It's pretty, you know, the, the, uh, the creative juices certainly flow on that and you feel like you can actually create your own interactive miniseries throughout the yeah, this is really cool. This reminds me of a video game we just saw. We can like literally program, and you're you're on the side of programming in Java, and you're actually changing the video game as you're interacting with it. Um, this is very similar. This is really scary and exciting. I hate horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Yeah, there's, there's some cool stuff they call playing with Now you see why I was so excited. Um, so next we're going to talk about really synchronizing um, TV and search. Uh, in too many companies, um, you know, really digital and traditional are siloed, and then when you look within digital, search is sometimes it even lives within technology for talking about SEO as opposed to in marketing and advertising. Um, there's just a ton of silos. We really need to start to break those walls down a little bit, um, especially when we start to look at usage behavior around search and television. So TV is still the number one influencer of online search behavior. 75% uh, of Americans have actually surfed the web while they're watching TV, and half of those do so every single day. Um, the mo most visited sites while people are watching TV are search engines and social networks, as I mentioned before. And about 37% of internet users actually go online uh, to research a product that they've just seen on TV. There are some brands that can even attribute about 40% of their surf, their branded search traffic directly back to television. Um, you know, there, there's obvious opportunities uh, for brands then to tap into that. So if you're using um, vanity URLs, um, you can then tie those in obviously with a search campaign. There's also a huge opportunity for conquesting in search, which basically means you can buy up your competitors' uh, search terms. But thinking more broadly than just the brand name, um, if a, a campaign comes out um, that has a specific tagline against it, you or your competitors may be able to buy against that tagline, which A, is going to be a lot cheaper than buying generic terms, um, B, is, is going to give you um, some really interesting leverage because a user may not always remember which brand it was that had this great commercial. They go online, they search the tagline, and your competitor pops up. Um, huge problem. You, you spend all this money and time creating a great campaign, a great tagline, something, something that, that resonates with people, and then a competitor, a competitor can actually come.